What's up, Madden 16 fans? Uh, my name is Cody, and I'll welcome you to our channel today. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing an add-on to a defensive guide that I, I uh, put out a couple months back. Uh, it's the New England defensive, uh, New England Patriots defensive playbook. And we're, we're talking today about the Dime 146 formation. Now, this is a formation uh, that is really interesting because what it does is it gives you dime personnel. But there's a lot of things you can do uh, with blitzes and alignment and hot routes. And it gives you really, really, really good personnel, to say the least. Uh, what you get is you've got one defensive lineman, you've got four linebackers, and you've got six defensive backs, which is really, really good personnel, in my opinion, especially with the way the game plays this year, with man coverage being uh, predominantly one of the better coverages to play this year. Uh, it makes this defense really effective. And so today I want to talk about a blitz out of the two man under it's one of the better blitzes that I've seen thus far this season and I actually was kind of turned on to it. I was playing a, a salary cap game and I came across a guy that was uh, was having some really really good pressure uh, but it didn't seem like he was doing a whole lot to get it in so then I I looked back at the instant replays and uh, saw that he was fi he was fiddling around with a dime 146 and so I got into practice mode afterwards uh, tried to see what he was doing I came up with a couple of setups for you guys uh, that I think is actually going to be really beneficial, especially if you're running the big dime 146 and if you really like to run cover two man. Now, I'm using the New York Jets defense to show you this defense. Uh, what you need is you need your uh, a guy with high acceleration. Uh, guys, uh, real quick, a little tip for Madden 16 especially, and this will probably apply to almost any Madden. Acceleration is one of the most important statistics that you can have for a pass rusher. Uh, when you're trying to blitz, the guys that you're blitzing, if they have high acceleration ratings, they're going to get through faster, and that speed is going to allow you to get the pressure in better. So what we've done is we've taken the, the New York Jets, which has they have the highest acceleration of a linebacker or defensive end in the entire game, and that's Julian Stanford. Comes, I think he has 95 acceleration, but we've placed him at this defensive uh, position here, this nose tackle. And then on the outside, we've got some some fast guys. We've got uh, Lorenzo Malden, and then we got Calvin Pace. You can actually you can do whatever you want here. This guy is really not going to be a part of the play. Uh, I like to put a, a guy like six foot six Adrian Hubbard uh, in in Mutt and put him there. But anywho, and then uh, you can do whatever you want here. Uh, like I said, this guy right here, DeMar uh, this linebacker is the blitzer that's going to be normally coming in. So you want to get a guy there that has good power, finesse moves. But what I like to do, this is going to be, normally would be my user player. Um, so I've been using uh, DeMario Davis. Uh, but anyway, you can use whoever you want there. And then this middle linebacker, you want to have your best kind of man cover backer. That's where we're going with that. And then the cool part about the Jets is they actually have some really good personnel. Now, a quick note about the big dime. This corner is actually a safety. That's why it's called a big dime, because they have a safety in there. So make sure to sub in a corner so you get better man coverage. So I like to sub in Milliner here. And then you can put that safety back here. So we put Calvin Pryor and Marcus Gil Gilchrist back. So now we have some really good alignment. And quick note, when you're running a two-man under type defensive scheme, your corners don't really need to be fast. What they need is man coverage. Uh, so be sure to look for that instead of uh, over speed, in my opinion. That's that's my personal opinion. You may have a different one, but that's what we're going to do. All right. So the cool part about this is we can run it from uh, we can run it from a lot of different coverages. We can run it from cover two man. We can run it from cover two. We can run it from. Let's see if we have another play. We can run it from here. Uh, we can run it from this cover one robber. Um, so we have a couple of options. I'm going to show it to you today out of cover two man because that's the most popular. And this is a defense I like to use uh, during two minute situations when I want to go into heavy man to man coverage. Uh, this is really designed for the pass, not the run. Uh, so if you got, if you're playing someone and he's a heavy runner, you may not want to use this defense. But if you're playing someone and he has to pass, this is a really, really effective defense. So what you want to do is call your cover two man. And you're going to come out, and what I like to do with this defense is man align and press. Now, you don't have to do that for the blitz to come in, but in my opinion, it makes the formation work much better. From there, what you want to do is you want to shift your line to the left, and then you want to bring this guy, Davis, you want to bring him over the center, right about here, and then you want to click off. So you can use her however you want. Uh, you can use her the safety. You can use her uh, this linebacker here, whatever you want to do. What you'll see here is we're going to create a little crossfire technique, 
and uh, we're going to try to get some pressure here. That time we got picked up, and I want to show, and so we evolved the setup too, and, and that's, that's one of the things too, is that the more you tinker with it, the more you'll evolve it. And so what, I, what I'm trying to do is keep it as short setups for you guys as possible. But anyway, so you, when you shift your line over to the left, what you'll see here is Stanford's angle is a little bit exaggerated. So what we want to do is we want to crash the line to the right, and that's going to create a different blitz angle for him. And then you still want to move uh, that linebacker. You want to kind of tinker with where you can move him. He has to be about five yards off, but right about there is where we want him to go. And here you'll see, and there we get that looping pressure in. Now again, it doesn't seem like a very good pressure uh, because it does kind of take a little bit of time to get in. But remember, you're in two-man under coverage, okay? And and the other thing too is in game mode, uh, you they they'll slide protect and do different things to try to pick it up. And when they start slide protecting and stuff, Stanford, uh, your nose tackle will actually have a pretty good shot at coming in. So again, just bring him over. I like to kind of just sling him over to the right side of the screen, and there you see him loop in. And sometimes he will get picked up. Again, this isn't this isn't a hundred percent. You're going to get pressure every time, but what it does do is it does do a very effective job of at least forcing the pocket, and it forces the issue. The quarterback has to respond. And there we see that's what we're literally looking for. As you see, Stanford starting to fight through the a gap, and uh, and that's that's the real. Uh, that's where the real gold is for the uh, for the defense is when you can start when they start slide protecting and things it makes Stanford much easier to come in here you see him fighting in there and again this isn't a hundred percent but when you think into consideration you're playing a coverage style defense it makes this much better and also you can take this guy pace I like to put him on a quarterback spy that's going to help with those mobile quarterbacks and you can still run the defense the same. Uh, but again, the more you run it in practice mode, the the, wor the less it's going to work. Now, one of the things you can do as well with this is flip the if you flip the play. So now what we've got is we've got Harris on the blitz angle, and we've got uh, so we're going to run it flip. So you do the same thing. You're just going to flip it. So this time we're going to move Stanford to the right side instead of the left side. We're going to still do our thing with him, and we're going to bring Harris over. Again, you're creating, basically what you're doing with this is you're creating a crossfire similar to like the, uh, the uh, linebacker, double loop three and those kind of things. And there you see there's the A-gap. So again, tinker with this, but again, I'm telling you guys, this is very, very effective, uh, especially in Mutt because you can get guys with like 100 acceleration. Uh, you can get guys like Jason Taylor and, and guys like that, and it does a very, very good job. Uh, for your defense and so here you see it again and this time we get the loop in but it what it does is it pushes that pocket at the quarterback and you're not having to blitz very many people okay so that was the two man under and tomorrow we're going to show you uh, another setup out of the dime 146 uh, that can help you get some edge heat a little bit more aggressive type pressure so thanks for watching today guys and be sure to subscribe to the channel